I have to laugh at uh, the utter surprise and hopefully delight when people discover that you can actually really can make a contact or two using QRP. Just the other day, I like watching a YouTube channel by KAMRD called KAMRD Radio Stuff. Man, that guy, he did a POTA operation using QRP, and man, I just laugh, man, at his joy. So I've been playing around. I've been sniping countries in the ARRL 2020 uh, International DX Contest. And so I'm running just five watts and um, using just two antennas, my Michigan Cacti Vertical and my 80 meter wire, which uh, the NFED, which I also use on 160. And uh, these are all the contacts I've made in only about mm, probably four or five hours of actual chair time, maybe six hours. That's a lot of QRP. Those are all countries, by the way. Those aren't states. And you know a lot of them are repeats. So far I've worked 36 countries. I'm going to pause this phone, point it at the radio, and I'm going to uh, try to demonstrate a QRP contact with a, uh, where is he? With a LU6UO in Argentina and he's real watery sounding so I don't know but I'll try I'm gonna pause you okay <clears throat> there's a real loud signal right next door and watch uh, watch me um, notch him out he's gone now when the LU6 keys back up, uh, we'll see what he sounds like. He's very, very weak and very watery. Argentina is not the easiest country for me to contact using QRP. And right now we're on 15 meters, which is iffy today. He's running 500 watts. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to pause this for a moment. You know, bad station to try to demonstrate my QRP fun with. He's uh, QSBs, he's just gone, and he's running 500 watts.
nope he's gone I'm gonna go to uh, 20 meters I don't think there's as much or hopefully no QSB hang on okay here's an XE2 in Mexico we'll try him problem is he's real loud and the louder ones are the ones I avoid um, I'll tell you why in a minute hey And just like that, just like that, that's how easy it is, man. That's how hard it is. <laughs> is life too short for QRP? No, nah, I think life's just right for QRP. From Michigan to Mexico. What was that, first call? Uh, no, not first call. I sent my call using this method. Let me show you. This is my favorite keyer in the whole world. My homebrew keyer, it's based on a PIC chip, which is sold by Jackson Harbor Press. I'm going to turn off the break-in function on my radio so I can key this thing. And normally, the way I use this thing, I normally leave my paddle set up for, um, <laughs> for talking. Um, and what I normally... Oh, we better tighten up my uh, my pan of ice tripod I normally use my memory button for the CQ for calling a general CQ like that um, and what I've done was I've installed a jack on the back panel so I can plug in an external memory button and I can it's a two position memory um, input jack so I can access either memory one or memory two using an external key and that's what I use my J38 for if I hear somebody like in a contest and I want to just send my call with a QR I've got it programmed to send it with a slash QRP And if I make the contact like I just did, then I'll complete the contact with my paddles. Anyway, I might uh, go to 20 meters and demo another attempted contact. See if I can do another on the first call. Hopefully a European this time. Hang on. You know, before I switch to 20 meters, let's try another. Here's a KP4 in Puerto Rico. He's a, a W2 ham in Puerto Rico for the contest. Let's give him a try. I love the way signals sound on 15 and 10 meters when the bands are cracking open. Hang on. See. Oh wow, <laughs> really? QSB, we'll try. <gasps> That's twice. He keeps fading at just the perfect, at the wrong time for me. 
I'll try sending just my call without the QRP. Nope, I'm not going to get him. He's making me look stupid. Oh, hang on. Okay, we'll try this guy. He's PJ4A in Bonaire. We'll try. And I am getting skunked here. Uh, a lot of these people that I'm tuning across, I've already worked. So if I call them, they won't answer me. But we'll <laughs> sounds like that's a good excuse, and I'm using it. This is a ZF Z rank one alpha.
and <laughs> okay. We'll try this guy. This is a KH6 in Hawaii. He's a he's an N6 that's in Hawaii for the test. And I've already worked him on 20 meters. We'll try it here on 15. And he's gone. Yeah, I'm going to have to change bands. 15 meters is just too unstable this afternoon. I shouldn't even have chose this band for my little demo. I'll probably edit it all out. Hang on. Okay, we're on 20 meters now. This is a VP5 who I've already worked on 80 meters. We'll try on 20. It's not very loud. And watch them be gone, just like that.
okay, finally. That's normally how it goes for me. I normally will call him, man, usually not more than a couple, three times. Uh, contests are weird situations, so uh, hang on, we'll try another. Okay, here's a V47UM. He's weak. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, so St. Kitts, comma, Nevis. I think it's an island. It is, and it's, off, uh, it's, it's at the very tip of South America. So there you go. QRP, 5 watts. On my Michigan cacti, first call. We'll try another. And here's PJ2T, who I've worked on 80... Uh, whoops, I can't work him. Nope, I've already worked him on this band. This Z ZF1A is loud, loud. And I think I tried to uh, contact him here with a camera pointed at the radio, but I'll try again. These loud ones are the hard ones to work. <laughs> just like that just like that man you know <laughs> it's a grin man <laughs> yeah yeah life's too short for QRP isn't it hang on okay and here's a KP3 in Puerto Rico that I worked earlier on uh, 40 meters we'll try again on 20 <laughs> just like that. I'm telling you, man, first call. We'll try again. I'll try to find a weaker one. Okay, here's a VE1 in uh, Nova Scotia. He's not real weak, but he's not very strong either. We'll try him. Yeah. See, I had to turn on my uh, my APF function to dig him out. We'll try. What? Yeah, when you got the APF filter on, it's funky, man. I mean, it's funny. 
he can sound loud and really be just in the noise. Just like that. Okay, here's a VP2 in Montserrat, and I worked him on 80 and 40 meters. We'll try on 20. Um, contest is going to be closing in a couple hours, few hours, and people are getting thirsty and mean <laughs> and hungry. I'll try. Come on. I'm going to crank up my key speed a little. Might leave off the QRP this time. Whoops. <laughs> Try a couple more times. <laughs> Yikes. I got him. Took a little work. But, got him. And here's TI-8W. I've worked him on 40 and 80 meters. We'll try here. I'm going to probably have to notch out that other station.
and there you go Costa Rica maybe I should show my uh, <laughs> my power setting here you know um, whoop, let's go back over here I'm gonna turn my control down a notch you'll see it clicked down to 5 watts I was set to 6 like that because I've measured the output on this transceiver and at the very low end when set to 6 it outputs exactly 5 watts let's find someone else to try to contact here hang on okay here's another VP2 this guy is a, not quite as strong um, he's in and out uh, the QSB's getting them I'm gonna try though Jesus. Yeah, maybe not. 